All right, everyone, it's time to talk about impeachment because it looks like finally Nancy Pelosi is going to send impeachment articles over to the Senate. They will be dead on arrival. He's not going to get removed from office, Trump. Um, they've artificially limited everything about the House process, and now they're going to ask the Senate to have a full, open, and fair trial process. But <laughs> you're going to get a fair trial, as opposed to in the House where you've got charges that are basically nonsense. Now, uh, I have to ask you, please, to spread this video around. It doesn't matter what platform you're watching it on. It could be Daily Motion or anything else. Please do spread it, however. Uh, because it's the only way that new people know that I exist for the most part. On alt tech I can grow, but the thing is if a person knows what alt tech is, most of the time they know who I am anyway. That's the core audience. So if you're like on YouTube or something, the algorithms bury me uh, in, in the wall of priority creators. So uh, I need your help in order to prosper. I hate having to ask for help on such things. I like to do it myself, but at this point, mainline tech just doesn't want me to exist. <laughs> so uh, keep that in mind going forward. I'm not trying to be an ass or anything when I point these things out. But po impeachment. Poor Pelosi. She finally keels over. She finally bends over backwards and just decides to uh, say, okay, I've been defeated. She's been defeated like, like a weak peasant with vi great fealty. She has basically tossed her crown into the dirt. That's basically what Pelosi's doing, but it's not even really her fault. Keep this in mind. Pelosi, through her behavior, we can objectively confirm, Pelosi never wanted there to be an actual impeachment. She's not dumb enough to think that they're actually going to remove him from office. This is going to bite the Democrats in the ass prior to the 2020 election. They basically handed victory to Donald Trump through these proceedings, especially now that they have to give it off to all people of Mitch McConnell. Now, who's going to drag it through the dirt and debase it even further? Impeachment was never so popular as when the Democrats, for the first few weeks of the process, technically speaking, held it very close to the chest. There was no official inquiry going on. There was no reason to suspect an official vote even was meant to happen. And Pelosi and Schiff and the other neoliberals, essentially what they did is this. They took people with third and fourth hand knowledge of phone calls involving Trump or investigations involving intel. These people formulated their own partisan opinions about the phone call, about the investigation, about someone else's surmising based on what they heard from a friend. They took this material and they selectively leaked the most damning parts of it, again, without any confirmation that any of these claims are remotely true, even half true, <laughs> even, even situationally true, to the press. The press then embellished them and put them out for public exposure. The press is very good at taking a turd and spit-shining it. That's what happened. That's what was happening for weeks. Hit Trump hard. Trump realized what was going on. He and others, I'm sure they understood. This isn't a serious attempt to impeach. This is just an attempt to, to gossip, essentially, and make it sound like it's pertinent to a potential removal in the future to get the far left stirred up. Oh, well, we'll stir them up really quickly here on our own. Trump and others came out and antagonized AOC and antagonized Tlaib, and antagonized Elon Omar and all of these others, and got them into a position where they were spitting mad, and they're like, hey, this asshole is antagonizing us and being an egotistical blowhard, fucking remove him from office. And Pelosi ever said, no, 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 we're not going to do that unless we have something to go on, but the cry, the chorus of Democrats that they have to wine and dine prior to the 2020 election, the chorus of people that were outraged at Donald Trump for his behavior specifically, nothing impeachable, but the way he was behaving on Twitter especially, grew and grew. Pelosi said, I can't deal with this. They're going to kick me out of the speaker's position if I don't just give them what they want. So then she started an inquiry. And I still think even at that point, she didn't intend there to be an actual impeachment. I think at that point she said, well, we're going to have our inquiry. We'll, we'll censor him. And this was suggested by multiple Democrats that were on the fence, as well as Gabbard and people like that. Just censor him. Say we're alleging that he did wrong, and we're rebuking him. We're saying to the American people, he's a bad dude. But there's nothing we can fully impeach him for. They could have done this, by the way. They could have done the reach-around fucking style argument and said, well, th th this is their excuse. Here's what I would have said to the American people if I was Nancy Pelosi. Donald Trump broke the law. He bribed the foreign state officials. We know this to be the case. We have people claiming all sorts of wrongdoing within his administration. He's being a disaster. It's a ticking time bomb, and if these things are fully exposed, it'll be a diplomatic nightmare for the subsequent administration, regardless of what else happens politically. We would love to remove him from office, 
But because he's crooked and because he's surrounded himself with crooked people, he's covered his tracks and it would take an inordinate amount of time to do so. We are asking, we are censoring him now, along a partisan line vote that might have even involved a few Republicans. We're saying he did wrong, but because we can't remove him, we need you to remove him in 2020. Vote Democrat. That's what I would have done. Campaign pitch, allegation of Trump wrongdoing, but it looks level-headed, it looks sane. At the end of the day, it looks a lot much more sane than what happened. But the far left wouldn't let it slide. They just wouldn't let it go because Trump and others kept antagonizing them. So then she moved to the impeachment vote and they impeached him. I have no doubt that in the wake of having impeached him, what Nancy Pelosi and any other sane, and this is really a reach when you're saying that about Pelosi of all things, think about how that sounds. Pelosi and the other strategic neoliberals don't even want to deliver the impeachment articles to the Senate because they know that it's going to be a show trial, they know that it's going to be a fucking circus, a zoo, and that Mitch McConnell is going to drag him through the mud. As soon as it gets to the Senate, he's going to be very cheerful that day. Instead of drinking in, in the wake of a budget vote that might not pass and the government might shut down and the smell of booze was everywhere, said John Boehner, he's, he's going to be sipping his good cordial that night. He's going to be a very happy man because Mitch McConnell is going to do what he does best. He's going to take the, take the gavel and use procedural uh, workarounds to try to make the Democrats look as inept as possible. And it'll work. They've already done half the job for him. So the impeachment proceedings will proceed now, finally. They were meant to go forward within the first 48 hours or so. This is not the way that impeachment is meant to work. The way impeachment is meant to work is... There's a legitimate reason to believe there's wrongdoing. We're making an allegation. Here's what we found in our own investigation. We're sending it to the Senate for a trial. It gets tried there. What Pelosi wanted is a, a dog and pony show, essentially, in which the Senate Republicans, before the trial even began, had to conform to the wishes of the House of Representatives. That's not the way impeachment works. The Senate sets the trial rules. Mitch McConnell just needs a simple majority to essentially throw out all the decorum of the Clinton trial and do whatever the hell he wants. And Pelosi knew this, of course, but you've got to understand. Do you honestly believe that the AOC and Rashida Tlaib and Elon Omar crowd even knows how the impeachment process works? No. So if you get them whipped up, they'll call for impeachment without even realizing that there's a certain step-by-step -step process that has to be abided by, which will inevitably lead to Donald Trump being acquitted. He's going to be acquitted of these charges. The Senate's going to laugh at them. It's run by Republicans. Mitt Romney, of all people, head never Trumper in the Senate, has signaled that he's not on board with impeachment. Even Mitt Romney uh, right now is not going to stand in Trump's way. Trump is going to coast through this smelling like a rose. His approval will rise by a point or two because they're going to make sure to make it extra damning to the Democrats. Uh, Occupy Democrats and, and the DCCC, all these different groups, Zhang Zuger and Rachel Maddow will run damage control. They'll run interference to their fans that are 99% partisan anyway. And at the end of the day, it'll be a partisan struggle. But when you're Donald Trump and your approval hand tends to gravitate towards the mid-40s, a partisan struggle is inevitably good for you. And if you're Congress, specifically the House, run by Democrats, it's inevitably bad for you. You don't want more exposure. The best thing for Nancy Pelosi is that she's not in the news cycle because she heads the House, the least well-liked part of our government edifices, the less liked version uh, of our legislature, the less liked House of the legislature, the less liked chamber. But uh, of course, she got forced into the news. She had to pretend to be the strong madam when really she's a feeble old woman in her late 70s who doesn't really want to lead anything. She would rather just sit there and make her vague statements once in a while and maybe get some bills passed and, and her Wikipedia article gets larger. That's what Nancy Pelosi wants. But they just, uh, the AOC crowd won't let her do that. It's funny, AOC has jumped, uh, jumped ship anyway. She's like, she's doing her own separate fundraiser, still refusing to pay her DCCC dues. You've got a schism within the Democratic Party a fucking mile wide and nobody even notices it. So it's going to be very funny to see the uh, proceedings and the fallout thereupon. It'll be funny to see the poll movement for Trump's approval as well as his matchups against the Dems. I don't see it going well for them in a lot of states. Because remember, support for impeachment peaked very early on before impeachment technically began. It's done nothing but fall since then. Approval for impeachment is lower than disapproval, and, cons and the disapproval is considerably higher than Trump's polling average in approval. That's good for Trump. If, he, if this continues, if the Senate acquits, he will gain support. 
probably a point or two. That puts him well within the re-election range, by the way. That's about all. Peace out.